Shut up, I'm sick of hearing you whine. I'm sick of hearing people like you whine. You don't know me. Quit whining, I'm sick of it. Shut up. I wasn't whining. I don't know. Shut up. You... Shut up. Tape is recording. Lieutenant John Cortland interrogating. Suspect Sam Rosmond. Victim is Allison Taylor, 22. Shot three times in the chest. What have you got to say? I did not kill her. Really? Go on. I, I'm, I'm fascinated. I'll be happy to have to tell you there was a, there was a guy. He was, he was wearing a hood. Yeah, but what were you doing there? I was at the grocery store. I was picking up some, some food. You mean alcohol. In fact, you were already intoxicated, according to the clerk at the store. I, I'm 21. I can buy alcohol. Mm-hmm. You know, it says here you called 911 and fled the scene. Why? I, I was scared. She, she didn't have a pulse when I checked. I, uh, uh, a, a woman's been shot. She, she isn't breathing. It's, it's at the barn barn on, on, on Keith and Ocoee. You know, we found a gun in your vehicle. Since, since when were the police given the right to do whatever they want? Since we had probable cause and a court order. Look familiar? I have a license. Not to conceal. You know, I find it a remarkable coincidence that Allison Taylor was shot three times by 38 caliber bullets. Why is that? Because we found 38 caliber bullets in your gun. A lot of people use that ammo. At 2 a.m. at the Barn Mart parking lot? Where'd you go when you fled the scene? <laughs> my, my apartment. I couldn't sleep. I, I kept replaying the scene in my head. So you said she had no pulse when you called 911? Uh, says here she did. Uh, she died in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. Almost made it too. Explain that. No, 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 no. She, she was dead. Yeah, you're pretty adamant about that, aren't you? Please help me. I, I, I can't. I, I, I'm not a part of this. Do you want me to just go ahead and tell you what happened, Mr. Rosman? I, I know what happened that night. Do you? See, what I think is, you were sitting in your car. You were waiting for that pretty woman to come walking out of the store into the parking lot. Just waiting, waiting for your opportunity to come. Who was I? The man in the hood? Or the man who came out of the store. You shot and killed her. Please. Help. I can't. I'm not a part of this. You left her to die. You gained nothing and all for what? A woman's been shot several times. She isn't breathing. She's at the barn mart on the corner of Keith Street and Nicoe. You're nothing but a cold-blooded murderer. You disgust me. Who 
was I? What am I? Did I leave her there to die? Pitiful creature crying out for help in a puddle of her own blood. Just stood there. Just stood there like a scientist observing some fascinating organism. What am I? Well, Sam, it seems like you've had an extremely bad mix of luck. The guy who killed Allison's name is Michael Birmingham. He's a known felon. We found traces of Allison's blood on his clothes, and the labs verified it. So, uh, you know, I just need to let you know, it's my duty to protect innocents, and man, when I fail, just as bad as the criminals. Anyway, you've been through a lot. Go home, get some rest, and the courts will notify you of the trial dates. I am no one who should claim to be innocent. Who am I? Am I the man that came out from the store? No. I was. Time has moved on since then. Can't go back now. Was it faith that threw me this hand? Guilt weighs me down. Am I innocent? No. Not anymore. Like Lurton said, I'm nothing more than a cold-blooded murderer. What more can I do than accept what I am? Who am I now? I'm the man in the hood. <laughs> 